there, it's Darren Gladstone with HP's TheNextBench.com, and what you, this little number right here, this is the Pavilion X360. So it's a cool little laptop, right? It's got uh, silver trim, metal trim right here, little uh, accents in red, and on the back, so it looks pretty cool, in my humble opinion. But uh, you know what? Okay, so we are, we're announcing this today. It's a cool little 11.6-inch laptop. Um, I'll, get, I'll get to the, some of the specs in a second, but uh, just a little quick sidebar. So. When it comes to hybrids, yeah, they're pretty popular these days. You know, we have our X2 line, which is detachables, and the screen pops off. But uh, some people want a little more flexibility in a self-contained unit, right? So that's what the X360 is all about. Thanks to the double hinge right here, this thing is really firm. It can, you can easily move it, but it stays like locked into any position you set it at, whatever you want. You want to change the angle a little bit. You want to push it all the way. Well, let's push it all the way back down. Or let's just, you know, make a little tent out of it. And have it hang out up here, upside down. You want to like, you know, maybe play some games on it or something, or set it up in your uh, kitchen counter while you're cooking. Or let's say you're on a plane and you want to watch a movie without, uh, you know, because the guy in front of you moved his seat all the way for, uh, back. So really simple, really easy to use. And as you touch it, you know, uh, uh, the touch screen works great and it doesn't like, you know, move at all. Again, thanks. It's all thanks to this dual hinge right here. Now, while I got this thing uh, up. Here's some of the inputs I think it's kind of nice. Okay, so we got a uh, SIM card slot, so basically, you know, wireless data, that's on the table. SD card slot, two USBs on this side, one charging, HDMI, Ethernet. The other side's got another USB port as well as a headset jack and a volume rocker switch. So, this is the Pavilion X360. Uh, the, the, probably one of the other nice things about this is that you don't have to spend a fortune on this thing. It's going to start at around 400 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. I mean, for what you're getting here, of course, and you know, as you uh, beef up the CPU or the or the RAM, it's you know, you, you'll, it'll cost you a little more. But still, if you're looking for a good starter machine that has this kind of flexibility, whether you whether you want to use it in school, or on flights, just traveling around town, it's got you covered. I'm going to do what I can to t kick the tires on it and answer your questions on the blog over at HPsTheNextBench.com. So in the meantime, you know. Hit the comments below, go over to the blog, hpsthenextbench.com, I'll be there for you. Thanks a lot, and have a great one, everybody.